Hello everyone, welcome to this session of In-Depth Economics. Today, we are going to learn about a very interesting topic, circular flow of income. Circular flow refers to the way in which money moves in the economy. Today, I'll give you one term that can summarize this model, a term that you can never forget. So boys and girls, the term is H2O, the chemical composition of water. Just remember, money moves from hand to hand in circular motion, H2O. The first H refers to the hand of members of the household. The second H refers to the hand of member of the firm. And O represents the circular movement. If you just remember H2O, you can never forget the circular flow of income model. Now, as we are studying this topic as students of economics, we will have to incorporate some key terms and stages of this model to H2O. Let us begin with the definition of circular flow of income. The circular flow of income is an economic model which demonstrates how money, goods and services flows through different sectors of the economy. The economy can be divided into four sectors households or individuals, firms or businesses, government and rest of the world, which represents the foreign sector. A simple economy assumes that there exist only two sectors, household and firms. This is called circular flow of income in a closed economy two-sector model. What does closed economy mean? It is a term used for an economy which is having no transactions or flow of income with the rest of the world or foreign countries. Keeping your syllabus in mind, today we will be concentrating on circular flow of income to sector model only. Now let us understand the terms households and firms. Households are consumers of goods and services and the owners of the factors of production which are land, labor, capital and enterprise. These are the people who earn money and then spend money to fulfill their needs. Firms, on the other hand, are the businesses and companies that produce goods and services for households to buy. Now let's convert H2O to a complete diagram representing circular flow of income to sector model. Since we are studying circular flow of income to sector model, the entire economy is divided into household and firms. In order for firms to produce goods, they need factors of production. So firms need individual from household to work and provide labor, land to build the production units of factories, capital and entrepreneurs to run their businesses. The flow of factors of production from household to firms is represented by the upper loop in the diagram. Factors of production are not available for free. The firms need to make factor payment to households in the form of rent, wages, interest and profit. So, the upper loop of the diagram shows the flow of factor services from household to firms and the corresponding flow of factor payments from firms to households. The lower loop shows the flow of goods and services from firms to household and the corresponding flow of consumption expenditure from household to firms. The entire amount of money which is paid by firms as factor payments is paid back by the factor owner to the firms. This flow of goods and services and factor payments between firms and household reflect the circular flow of money in an economy. There are three different phases in the circular flow of income. Number one, generation phase. The first phase of the circular flow of income is generation phase. In this phase, the firms produce goods and services by taking the help of factors of production. The second phase of the circular flow of income is the distribution phase. In this phase, factor income such as wages, rent, interest and profit flows from firms to the households. The last phase is the disposition phase. In this phase, income received by the factors of production is spent on goods and services produced by the firms. The circular flow model demonstrates how money moves from producers to households and back again in an endless loop. 
money moves from producers to workers as wages and then back from workers to producers as workers spend money on products and services. Two more important terms that we'll have to understand are real flow and money flow. The term real flow means the flow of factor services from household to firms. Similarly, the flow of goods and services from firms to households. In this type of circular flow, there is no involvement of money and goods and services are exchanged between two sectors of the economy. The money flow reflects the flow of factor payments from firms to households for factor services. Similarly, the flow of consumption expenditure from household to firms for the purchase of goods and services manufactured by the firms. This type of circular flow includes the exchange of money between the two sectors, that is household and firms. If you remember each tool, you can never forget the circular flow of income model. It is as simple as that. Please like, share and subscribe.